Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing a tutorial on the Russian Concorde, which was the 2.0 F T144. Uh, you might also notice if you've watched any of my videos before that I've got a lot better microphone quality. I got a new microphone, uh, it should be a lot better. And today I'm going to be doing the first episode in a new kind of mini series, which is going to have three episodes. Uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the T144 right here which is this one, and then the Concorde, and then the Boeing B2707, which are the three competitors, I guess, for the supersonic passenger aircraft back in, like, the 1960s, 1970s, that kind of period when they were being developed. Now, the reason that I'm doing the TU-144 tutorial first is because it was actually the first to fly. Um, Concorde first flew on the 2nd of March, 1969, and the T-144 first flew on the 31st of December 1968. Yeah, I will be doing the Concorde afterwards. Uh, I've got it over there. Uh, that, no, that's the T-144. That just there is the Concorde. I um I haven't built the B-2707 yet either, so that might actually be a time-lapse video first and then a tutorial after that. So, I'm not a history channel, so I'm not going to explain the whole thing, but long story short, it was introduced into service in 1975, but then retired from passenger service in 1978 and kept flying cargo until 1983. It wasn't very safe, it actually had a few crashes, but it wasn't very comfortable for passengers, but still relevant in aviation history, because it was technically the first supersonic passenger aircraft to fly. So now, onto the tutorial. So to start off, we're going to place a block of coal as the... Uh, nose landing gear and put stone buttons on either side of that then place an andesite wall on top then another one and then one in front of that like this then you're going to go back with lime wool 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 and then go either side 1 2 3 1 2 3 place andesite walls there and there and the same on the other side then you're going to break these two, place blocks of coal like that, and break this now, and place stone buttons on all of the wheels. And then on top of that, you're going to place two andesite walls, two andesite walls here. Then you're going to go up here with one block, back one, two on this side, two on this side. Now do the same on the other landing gear. And this is actually going to be the engines for the 2.0 FTU-144. And then with blocks of coal, go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like that. And then place stone buttons here and here. And then do the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then the stone buttons like that. Now, over to the nose landing gear. You're going to place a smooth quartz slab here. And then go from that slab. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then down 1. One, two, three, down one again, one, two, like that. And now you go up one here, up one there, and then up one there, and then up one there, and then one in front of this this um, andesite wall. You're going to place another smooth quartz slab, then go all the way back like this until it is in line with the ends of the engines, like that. Do the same on the other side. And then in the middle to fill it in. Nice. Now we're going to place a block here and then here and then break that one. Place one there and there and then one there. Break that one. And then go all along here with slabs. Like that. And then the same on the other side.
Oh yeah, and then that block there. Now, for the wings themselves, you want to go two back from here, place a block there, then go all the way down with these slabs to the end, and then from this end, you want to go in one, two, three, and then place a block here. Go all the way along with those slabs. Up until there's five slabs here. One, two, three, four, five. So that's good. Then you want to go back four. One, two, three, four. Then place one here. Go all the way back with slabs again. Up to here. And then from here. Back with slabs. Up until there's one, two, three, four. And now you want to go one, two, three back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then go back from here. Until you get to this part where there's only two slabs in front. Now go back from here again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Until there's five slabs here. You'll see why in a minute. And then you'll go one in like this and go one, two, three, four, five. And then go down here like that and go one, two, three, four, five. And then go two ahead like this. And then go in one, two, 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 like that. So it should join onto this part nicely. And then just fill in these gaps here until you have a nice solid wing and so you'll want to pretty much repeat this whole thing on the other side as I'm doing here I might put it in a time lapse so you'll have to copy it from the things that you just did So then you should have the two wings on either side of the aircraft. Now for the cockpit, I'm going to place a smooth quartz slab here, and then two stone slabs like this, and then like this, and then two here and here, just like that, in that shape. Then place smooth quartz slabs on either side, just like that. Then with smooth quartz blocks, go like this, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And for the doors, I'm going to be using regular quartz slabs like that on either side because they have a bit of an edge to them, so they look a little bit more like how the doors would be uh, on the outside of an aircraft. Then with smooth quartz stairs, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then a smooth quartz block there and quartz slabs there. Um, this kind of looks like windows, it doesn't at the moment, but when it has the blocks on top, then it kind of looks a bit more like windows. It's like the smallest little holes you can make in Minecraft blocks. Then you're going to go two back with the stairs. One smooth quartz block there, and then a regular quartz block there. Three more back with the stairs. Block. Quartz block. And three more back with the stairs, like that. And then you're going to go all the way along to the end, and then out two with these blocks like this. These can go back one, two, three like here and then one up on top of this one and then you can put these back along in the same as you did on the other side so just copy it from that side like this And there we go. Now at the back, we're going to go three back here. One, two, three. Then up one, then one, two, three back again. And then here you go one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And then at the very back, you're going to go up again, and then one, two back. And then here, you're going to go up one again, and one, two back, like that. Put that there. And one block in from the very back, you're going to place that on top of there along like that and then you can just do this all the way to the front of the aircraft 
with slabs. Up to there. Or in fact, break these two and then place two like that there. And then here, place one slab and then keep placing them up until the very end. There we go. And the same on the other side. In fact, I'll do that and then all the way along. There we go. Now, for one of the main defining features of the TU144, we're going to build uh, canards, which are like uh, the little wings at the, at the front of the aircraft near the nose. They're very small wings that kind of stick out, and I think they help with stability a bit. I'll place a slab out here, and then go down one like that, diagonally, and then along one, two, and then break this one. So that's one canard. So you can place one here, on the same, uh, the same on the other side, like that. So then you have the two canards. Now all that's really left to do is the tail. So we're going to place a block here, and we're going up one, two, three, four, and then put stairs on top facing in that direction. Go one, two, this way. Then another stair, block underneath, stair in front, block underneath, stair in front. Then we're going to place one more block underneath here, then one block along, one block under, two blocks along, a slab here, and then two slabs like that there. And then just fill in the tail with smooth quartz blocks, like that. Oh yeah, and I forgot to break the line wall underneath the aircraft that we used to measure out the distance between the two landing gear. Oh yes, and then for the doors uh, made out of quartz, you need to place one slabs on top of these blocks like that. And then go over here. And then at this kind of emergency exit, you play, you break that and then you replace it with a quartz block. Same on the other side. And there you go. So that is it. You should now have a finished 2.0 FT 144 in 1 to 1 scale. Since it's in 1 to 1 scale, you can't really do anything with the inside of it. Uh, you can't make an interior. You can still go inside, but it's just a one block wide little hallway. But you can look out the windows if you want. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully there'll be more videos coming soon with the Concorde and the B2707 tutorial. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hit 200 subscribers a few weeks ago. Uh, thank you very much for that. So that's it. Bye everyone.